Hello there, and welcome back to our Ardabil into Persia run with the King of Kings DLC in EU4 1.36, the Byzantium update. We are doing phenomenally well, and I'm getting radical reforms. Let's go. That is very, very swift. Uh, you, I want to keep. You, I want to keep. So let's just get that done, and we'll get these guys back. Costs just a little bit of money, and you can keep your guys that you like. It's can't be understated. That is really nice. When I found out that you could do that, I can't even remember where I found it out. Very happy with that discovery. Uh, also, now that we own this entire province, uh, we can do the local organization of the Safavia, which will give me plus 1.5 uh, missionary strength and some extra manpower, which makes it just that little bit faster to convert my new provinces. Perfect stuff. Uh, my army reformer just died. That's unfortunate, but hell, let's get the land maintenance guy. Not a problem. Army is going to be growing quite nicely now. Um, infantry will go with regulars, and we'll keep the Saf of... No, that's sorry. The Kizilbash. We'll just stick that to cavalry for now. Uh, let's get some more dip points. We have a costly trade embargo on Akunu. Get completely outscaled. Uh, Mazandaran was our ally. We just rivaled them, so now they're not. But, you know, I'm fine with that. Uh, let us summon the diet again. Let's see what we have. You want Shervan to be Shia. That's not difficult. But I do need to conquer it first, so maybe it is. Um, Emirs want my manpower up. You want me to have more trade power in the Persian Gulf, which would be quite difficult. Uh, the Dummy want more privileges, and the Kizilbash want Rash to be part of a state assigned to a holy order. Which is... Gonna be pretty hard, because that means I need to kill Mazandaran and Khorasan, which is a vassal of the Timurids. Yeah, that's, that's kind of unlikely. Uh, what kind of trade power am I in the Persian Gulf? Like, that's... I feel like it must be the, just the Persia node. Persian Gulf, though, is not what it's called. I feel like we could probably do that. Let me just uh, have a look. No, it's they're here. I need I need it to be here. That's unfortunate. Um, you don't want to trade me trade power. I need to go to war with the Jam again. Maybe we go and attack Shervan. That brings us to war with Akilnu, and I kind of don't want to go to war with Akilnu right now. Who else can I attack? I can attack Iraq to go to war with you. We have cleansing of uh, heresy. A Jam won't even join. You know what? Screw it. Let's let's go. We have a war to do. Iraq must fall. Baghdad will be mine. How many men do you have? 5,000? Weak. I do have some rebel problems that will probably raise their heads soon. Where is his army? Are they retreating all the way around to Medina? Oh no, there it is. That is your entire army, right? Yes. Lovely stuff. Drop you, you go there. I don't think I'm going to full annex this guy. I don't think I have the economy to do that. Not the economy, sorry. The, um... Just ability to do that. It would be quite difficult to do it with the aggressive expansion. But we can get a, a good chunk of his tr land. And we have some rebels to take care of in Tribrees. That shouldn't be a problem. 
Give me one of those infantry. Yeah. Situation stable. Golden Era for the Ottomans is scary, but not something we can't deal with. So, from Baghdad, sorry, from Iraq, maybe we just take this full state? Yeah, we just take the state of Iraq Irabi. That is a coalition that would include the Timurids. So, let us start improving relations with the Timurids. Potentially a Diplo Rep guy? Might help out. I would very much like to be the Timurids' friend. For now, until I murder a Jarm and then border him. So the longer we wait... They, they hate me, though. They really hate me. They desire my provinces, which is unfortunate. Maybe we just uh, sit in our country and wait for a while. Grand Generalship now with 90 army tradition. And we get what? Another 5 shock. That's really handy. Now that we have a 5 shock there, I don't mind if the original 5 shock dies. Again, Eco doing great things. Tabriz will build a marketplace and uh, continue to convert my places. Good stuff. I have just completed another mission because I full cored this. We've expanded our realm by four states, which means I have 50 extra mill points and for 25 years state maintenance and harsh treatment cost. I'll take it, because why wouldn't I? Shervan is still the... I really, I really need... really need Shervan. Who are you allied with? You're allied with the Ottomans. <laughs> well, I suppose that's actually really good for me. If you're allied with the Ottomans, it means that you are not going to be murdered by the Ottomans, and I will never have a border with the Ottomans. Um, the fact that you... Well, you don't actually hate me, hate me. I kind of want to be friends with the Akion Lu, just to keep myself safe here. 6,000 manpower is very tempting. Yeah. Get back towards mysticism with events. Uh, we'll take stability, of course. Maybe we sanction Holy War. Or get a, get us a claim on just Kazinia, actually. It's not even that much. I don't know. I feel like we do need to just wait. Let's see. What happens now if I try and do my peace deal? Timurid's still involved, but they're two away from not being involved. So I feel like waiting is still the better option. I still feel like waiting is the better option. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I couldn't stop that. Let's get some morale back and then we'll go take them on. We've almost waited long enough. The Timurids are almost not going to join the coalition. So we, I think, just need to wait until, like, January 1st. And then we're going to be fine. Uh, or if we do it right before, it'll be even better. So let us... Can I just peace you out? No. Let's take your money as well, because of course I'm going to take your money. We peace out. Technically, they can join a coalition. Except now they can't. Because now your aggressive expansion dependent penalty on me is only 46. Perfect. 
And also, apparently, you no longer need that edict. God, I just love, I just love that. I love how they fixed that. It's so beautiful. Um, yeah, so now we just need to save up some admin and core my things and... Yeah, no, that's, that's really good. Uh, let's get down to Baghdad, which I think has... Where is the monument here? S this minaret. Is that the really good one? Where is the really, really good monument over here? Is it this that I'm thinking of? Missionary Strength and Ulema Loyalty Equilibrium. That's really good. There's Tehran, which is alright. Yerevan, which I can't do. Tbilisi is not mine either. Shervan, if we become, become Zoroastrian, we can do it. But getting Zoroastrian, unless there's something I can do in the Persian mission tree, that seems like a tall order. A very tall order. Uh, Ottomans want military access. I will accept... I will give you anything you want, Caliph. A anything you want at all. Just uh, just say the word, buddy. You want an alliance? How about an alliance? You want an alliance? Maybe? 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 No? Think about it. But anyway. <laughs> Article's really good right now. Still need to go over Shervan, though. Like, come on. Come on. This is this is gonna get, get, a, bit, get a bit silly. Getting a uh, wee bit silly. An opportunity has presented itself. So, I was just speeding along at speed five, just checking to see uh, see how things are uh, improving in my situation, and I come across this. If I attack Shervan right now, Akiyunlu will join, but Ajam will not. And I feel like that's kind of a good deal for me, so we're going to do that, and yes... Akionlu is allied with the Ottomans, but we can make it so that they're not crazy stuff. So that's the plan. We are going to separate piece Akionlu, probably take Bayezid so I can take the entirety of Armenia. Take Bayezid, break their alliance with the Ottomans. That's the plan. That is what I have in my head. Ottoman scary. But Ottomans with no border with me, not as scary. Still scary, though. Uh, I'll definitely take the extra 10 prestige. That could come in handy. And they're all ruining me southern lands, but, you know, we'll deal with that. It's fine. They can't get through Tabriz anyway. So we'll just hope for this siege that, to go fast. Dagestan, I can't reach out until this is done. But, yeah, maybe we just go and stand in Yerevan right now. Of course, I can't do because they're siege, but again, that's still, we're, we're okay. We're fine. We can wait. Uh, getting an extra stability would actually be really, really handy. How's my... Prosperity is coming up, which is fine. Shirvan is siege. Let's go to siege Dagestan, and then we'll start our invasion of Akkayunlu. Timur is going to prepare to attack Oman. Not something I care about. All right, let's get our troops together. Again, if you fully admit defeat. All I want from them is Bayezid. Although I will need two separate piece. Uh, let's just... I don't really want to attack into mountains. That would suck. Let's go south. Mm, if I go south, then they're just going to come in from the north. Do you think maybe Yerevan needs a fort? Potentially, potentially, potentially. Uh, for right now, let's go back into my south and de-siege my Iraqi land. Oh, I died. That's unfortunate. So now I have Jonad Safavid. Uh, Jonad the bloody third is... 
Is he Jonah the third? No, Jonah the second. If you take uh, if you take power, you're actually really good. Uh, I will be looking at seeing if. Uh, well, what's your age? Age zero. As soon as you're 15, we're we're gonna spend 50 prestige, my dude. We need to get. We need to get to his capital. I need to be the one to siege this, not Georgia. Am I going to get there, or are you? You are. Unfortunate. Whatever. This guy has nine troops. Alright, let's get this guy there. Invest in new technology. How long until I that runs out? I can wait a year. I definitely wait a year. Rebels in Baghdad. We can take care of them easy enough. Uh, how about you get some... Oh, you've already got defensiveness. Okay. Uh, another government reform. What do we want this time? I'm thinking... Reform progress growth is always nice. Cost of advisors with rulers culture is nice, but I don't like disabling the diet. Um, unique state edicts is really good in the Age of Revolutions. Um, it's, pr it's okay now, but mm, it's not amazing. None of that's good. Maybe go with reform progress growth. For now, that's probably the best. I don't like that you've got a breach. That's really good. Oh, I like that. I love the fact that um, Akionlu has taken a border all the way to the mountains. Defend me, daddy. siege this as well. They're abandoning the siege of my capital, which is actually really good for me as well. Again, I want to separate peace with uh, Kionlu. The Ottomans have just warned me not to go to war with anyone that they have a border with, which is technically just at Kionlu. And technically, I don't care. So... Yeah, get get wrecked. I could take the Al Jazeera state, but I worry that if I take that, then the Mamluks are going to be like mad pissy. I would love to get a big ally. I would absolutely love to get a big ally. Really though, it's this. Need that, and Bayezid, and some money. Dayer Bakir is sieged. Okay, that's good for me. More mysticism coming my way. And this is available for another six days, so I'm going to take that. I'm going to build myself an cannon. Which is a cannon. That is crewed by people named Anne. Because I need Bayezid, but if I try and take Bayezid right now... In the piece that we can potentially make... I have a feeling they're going to say no because I haven't taken forts in the region. Even though I've taken Diyarbakir. Good to spot that.
Right, if I try piece you out now... Oh, you will actually do that for me. And how much money? A smudge of money. I will take an smudge of money. Let's just siege these things as well. Oh, fuck me. Is that going to be a stack wipe on those troops? Please let me retreat. I managed to retreat. Very nice. I can hold out for a little bit longer. Make sure that is under siege. Now you go to Urzurum. Just try and like get as much out of this guy as possible. Two twelve, let's go. Perfect. Got one more siege to go. Alright. This is gonna be the peace deal. 212, 235. Coalition of Ajam and Shravan, not something I'm going to worry about. Lovely stuff. Break your alliance with the Ottomans. They will probably re-ally, but for now I'm I'm pretty comfortable. And then with you, I just want those three provinces, which is not a coalition I'm worried about. You can keep Dagestan. I don't care. War reps, because why not? Force religion as well, because why not? And that is... Shirvan War Ended. Which means I've conquered Shirvan. Get 100 admin points and 1 stability. That brings me to 2. Do I want to spend 180 to get myself to 3? Mm, no. That's that done. We have established the Safavid Order. So I gain a castle and a mosque in Ardabil. Very nice. I will take that. Now I just need into Persia. So I need 2 more provinces in this old area, and uh, we've completed another mission. Yeah, we're kind of we're kind of doing pretty well. I would argue, I'm I'm happy. I would argue that I'm happy. Yes, that's how it works. You can't just be happy. You need to argue for your position. Core all of the things. Yeah. Good stuff. That's going to get automatically desieged by Ardbill. Good stuff. We'll full core everything as well. Melikates. Cord. Gain more mysticism or gain a stability. I like the mysticism. Mysticism is my bay right now. Convert stuff to Shia, not yet. Yeah, we need this to go that way. Maybe we can even look at the Ulema and ask them to give me freedom of interpretation. To be even happier. Lovely. You drill, because you've done your job. You've, uh, you've been phenomenal for me. Um, the merchants are almost happy. If I can just get this up a little bit more. Maybe Baghdad we can... Still need to core it first. Okay. Well, well, we're we're gonna be chill for a little while. I think a war against uh, a jam as soon as our truce is up in eighty one is gonna be the best situation. Then we can complete another mission into Persia, which will establish the legend of Ismail the first. So seems like a good idea to me. Sure. I'm so close to this mission. I need 30% trade power here. I currently have 29 point something. And I'm thinking I can probably get it higher if I just embargo my ally for a month. Like, hopefully that's going to be okay. Because obviously, costly trade embargoes reduce my trade efficiency. But I'm not looking for trade efficiency right now. I'm looking for trade power. Which hopefully this is going to put me to 30. No, it didn't. No, no it didn't. It totally didn't. 
Um, who else is in here? T Timurids? You wanna you wanna get embargoed? Come on. I just need a little bit. Come on. 114.6. It's not actually gonna change anything. There we go! <gasps> we did it! We got to 30! <laughs> Let's go! Let us go. Alright, I can revoke my costly embargoes now. We have done the mission. So now if I do another mission, doesn't matter which one, we're all above 50. Let's seize some land. Lovely stuff. Now, what do we want here? Ardabil making 12. We've already seen that one. We don't want to do that. Persia Gold 50. Nah. Nah, we, we, we've been here before, my dude. Um, Soltania getting a castle is actually something I was planning on doing anyway. So let us do that. We have the money, but what we could do as well... If I had 50 admin points, I could make it 15% cheaper. I don't know if that's actually a good deal. I think just building it for 200 ducats is probably better. Uh, and right now, I'm just waiting on my truce. January 81, which is right now. And we're going to go to war with Ajam. Ajam has no friends. Because Akionu is straight up bankrupt. Get wrecked, I guess. Uh, and let's cleanse some heresy upon these Ajami fools. Uh, this place as well, as soon as we core everything, we can, uh, do stuff there. That's Drylands, we'll have this fight, that's fine. We got five shock, you got three. I assume we're at the same tech level? No, I'm actually higher. I have an cannon. And you do not. You haven't attacked them, have you? No, you haven't, good. So I could even breach, but I'm not going to, because that seems like a terrible waste. Uh, Sharky is where? Up here. Let's pop on Missionary Strength Edict. Alright, and yeah, we'll just, uh, we're just gonna go and beat the crap out of a jump. I don't know what, uh, provinces I'm gonna take. I think it's all free, because they're all the wrong culture, uh, wrong religion. You know, they're all guilty of heinous amounts of wrong thing. I think definitely these two states I'm gonna fill out, and then I'm gonna start moving over here. But yeah, Timurids is soon going to be a big problem. Um, it's a shame they didn't explode, as they so often do. But yeah. Working on it might be our job. Maybe getting a border with the Timurids, like avoiding that would be a good idea. I'm sorry. In what reality am I helping you in this war? Where are you moving, Corman bed? 28th of April, 9th of May. Fucking hell. Oh, he's moving again. No, he's not. Fuck. Like, how am I helping you in this war, my dude? I'm just going to let him beat your ass. I feel like that 11k is probably going to move to me. Well, maybe if I leave you alone, you'll go and desiege Karmanbad, which is a province that I really want quite a lot. I'll probably not get lucky in that, though. Go, I'll have more luck if a jam goes and takes it back. That seems like a, a battle you're not winning. Uh, is a jam bankrupt or something? Why, why are you failing so hard here? Negative prestige, I think, maybe is the issue that they're having. He's not going to retreat very far. Of course, you're not going to the province I want you to go to. He's going to get stack wiped. I 
I doubt he's going to go to Coraman Bad, is he? It's very irritating. Fucking Mushasha. Oh, you're going to get Elam as well now, aren't you? Yeah, he is. Oh, what a... Scumbag! What a scumbag. I think Mushasha is going to be my next rival. I can just peace out now. Fuck it. Do I take this land or not? I don't want a border with the Timurids just yet, so I'm going to take just this land here. Money, that's fine. Pillage your capital? Nope. War reps, yes. A humiliate would actually go real nicely here. War reps, humiliate, and then fill out the rest with money. Because that means I have uh, this completed now. Why are you sieging me? You're not... I'm, I am not a jam. I'm not a jam, my dude. But I am a great power. Ha <laughs> ha! And you're no longer a valid rival. Who is my valid rivals? Mushasha? Sounds good to me. And they broke their alliance with me, naturally. Well, we have gone into Persia. Our struggle to consolidate the region will surely commence by securing a foothold in Persia. It will indeed. The rise of Ismail I... Which I'm tempted to... Hmm, I think that gives me a new heir that's really good. I don't know. Screw it. Let's click it. You become heir. Yeah. The throne will be his. I gain an heir at the age of 15. Or with the age of 15. It might have been a better idea to... Wait. Nah, whatever. Ishmael Shafavid. So as soon as you've ruled for 20 years, I'm going to abdicate the hell out of you, because you suck in comparison. Oh yeah, now, now you're going the right way. About bloody time. Too late now, though. Anyway, let's core new lands. Consolidate. Refresh. Moisturize all of that stuff and end the episode. So I want to thank you all very much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, And will continue to enjoy our campaign as art bill in the 136 patch I'm having a lot of fun if you are too and you want to see more of it feel free to click the subscribe button So you won't miss an episode uh, leave some comments down in the comment section below it is un it's it's hard to explain just how much that helps both with the algorithm and also just with uh, my desire to make more videos i love reading comments and i do reply to them so leave some down there but yeah subscribe keep an eye out there's gonna be another video soon and uh you know next stop is persia that's gonna be difficult but we're, we're gonna try anyway thank you all for watching and i'll see you next time Bye bye